Hello everyone. In this video, I will be going over my method for creating a stamped metal effect in Substance Painter. Stamps and engravings oftentimes can add a lot of realism to a model. In real life, many objects have things like model numbers, serial numbers, or other designs on them. So having good looking stamped text will give your models added realism. But, if the text looks fake, the model will look fake. So let's take a look at a side-by-side -side comparison of some text that I think that looks not so good, or some that I think looks better. So the one on the left clearly is not as convincing. The first thing you'll notice is that the text does not really affect any of the metal around it. And the second thing to notice is that the one on the left is equally shiny everywhere. To understand why this first image is not convincing, let's think about what physical process we are trying to emulate, and that will help us reason about what we're trying to achieve. In real life, there are a few ways that you can add text to a metal object. The two main ways are engraving and stamping. There's also etching, but I'll leave that for another video. If you engrave a design, you're scratching it out of the metal. If you stamp it, you're pressing the design into the metal. When you stamp the design down into the surface of the metal, you'll usually get a raised ridge around the design. You're forcefully pushing the pattern down into the surface, and that metal has to go somewhere, so it is displaced outward. Harder metals will usually have a smaller ridge, and softer metals will have a more noticeable one. So metals like steel will have a crisp ridge, while something like pure gold might have a softer one. The next issue is that the pattern itself will generally be rougher than the surface of the metal. This can be for a few reasons. The top layer of the metal will naturally be exposed to more wear, especially if you're trying to give the feeling that the item has been used. Another reason is that it is more difficult to polish or clean the crevice that has been stamped in. Imagine if dirt got all over the object and you tried to wipe it off. You would not really be able to get down into the crevices as well. Also, it just looks more interesting. So we have our metal object using a metal texture that I already made. We're just going to create a new folder that's for the text. Then we're going to add a new fill layer and add it to our folder. For now, we'll leave all channels on this layer enabled, but we'll come back and edit that later. And we're going to add a mask to the fill layer that we use to do our painting. So this is where we're actually going to paint the text into the mask. Select a default brush and pick the text alpha that you want to use for your text. You can find them in your shelf in the alphas section. I have the font alphas in their own tab so I can access them easily. Now that you have your font selected, go ahead and paint your text into the mask that you placed on that fill layer. And let's add a symbol to this as well. I think this one will do nicely. I think I want it to be a little thicker than that. Change the thickness a bit. I think that looks better. So now I'm going to disable all channels on that layer except for the height. And I'm going to give the height a negative value so that the text goes into the surface. Then duplicate that fill layer two times and disable the height channel on both of the copies. Now 
Next, we're going to use a high pass filter on that mask in order to give us the effect of that ridge around the text. So now you can see it looks a bit more interesting and it has a bit of depth to it. You can change the intensity of the ridge by adjusting the amount of the high pass filter. But I think that looks pretty good right there. But as you can see, it's still not entirely convincing. Um, so now what we're going to do is add a little bit of variation in color. So we'll switch over to color mode. And uh, we'll give the second layer a lighter color. And then add a blur filter. And it's going to blur out this color so that the lighter area kind of goes where the, where the ridge is going to be. Then on this third layer, we're going to enable the color and uh, bring the color down to make the inset a bit darker than the outside. So the text actually stands out from the rim area a bit. So you can see that's, that's looking a little better, a little more stylized. Uh, but lastly, we need to change the roughness inside the text. I usually make the text pretty rough, and then I change the layer roughness blending amount. But you could do it either way. You could also just make the text not as rough. Uh, but now you can see that the text stands out quite a bit more. And when you look at it from an angle, the light shines off of the surface and off of the ridge. But it doesn't really shine off of the inset text. So it gives a bit more contrast and looks more realistic. I think this looks better. And each project, you can change the factors to suit the look you're going for. So you could change the high pass filter, or the roughness of the text, or the color variation of the letters to get the look that you're going for. If you want to go for an engraved look instead of a stamped look, you can just remove the high pass filter. And you'll see you get a look that looks a bit different, kind of gives a different feel, but still looks pretty good. Now you can make Stamp Metal and Substance Painter in just a few simple steps. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, and subscribe for more game dev tutorials, and don't forget to check the description below for good stuff. I will see you in the next video.